I, I think we should make voting much easier. I, I hasten to add I would completely oppose what I sometimes hear advocated, that people should be required to vote, but people should be encouraged to vote. It should, we should be able to vote by mail. We should be able to vote by email. I have, you know, if somebody's going to say, well, there are technology problems, I mean, please, I know that, that those can be solved and, and if there's a will to do it. And um, there are states and there are countries that use those approaches. It, it, to the contrary, we are moving in the opposite direction, making it harder and harder. Uh, and one of the very scary cases before the Supreme Court is the Indiana voter ID law, which requires so strictly um, certain forms of government-issued photo ID uh, ostensibly to protect against impersonation fraud at the ballot box, even though the state acknowledged that there was not one single documented instance of such fraud. Uh, and it clearly seems that it was intended to disenfranchise people who are believed to be more likely to vote Democratic. But, you know, the ACLU is representing the people who are most disproportionately adversely impacted by this law, which are elderly people, uh, disabled people, poor people, people living in inner cities. And our brief included stories you just wouldn't believe of, you know, people who were so persistent in getting their birth certificates, and it was so expensive to get their birth certificates, and they, if they had been born in a different state, and then there was a catch-22, they couldn't get their birth certificate unless they had a passport, and, you know, p people who to spend so much money and so much time, uh, this is not the way to encourage people to vote, and it's not necessary because there's no problem. Uh, it's not solving a problem, it's creating a problem.